Hi, this is Jeff, your ProtoPie expert again, answering your ProtoPie questions. Today's question comes from Raphael. Raphael asks, I have a scroll container in my main scene. I would like to send a message to a component when the scroll container reaches a specific point. So I've set up Raphael's scenario here. I have a scroll container full of beautiful photos from one of my favorite photographers, and I have a component on top, and that's this follow button. If I preview this, you're gonna notice two things. One, I can scroll through these photos like this, but number two, the follow button uh, is not visible. And the reason for that is if we go into the component, it has a start trigger built into it, and that rotates the button out of view. It's also configured to accept two messages, the show message, which will rotate the button into view, and the hide message, which will rotate it out of view. Let's go back to the scene. What I'd like to happen is, we're gonna use a Stonehenge image here, and what I'd like to happen is when Stonehenge reaches the very top of the container right there, I'd like that button to swing in. I'm gonna use something called the range trigger to make this happen. The way range works is you configure it to keep track of the value of a property of one of the objects in your scene. In our case, we wanna keep track of the scroll property of the scroll container. And when that value reaches a certain threshold, which you specify, you can make something happen. In this case, we're gonna use the range trigger, and I care about the scroll container's scroll property. Now, a common mistake here is to not watch scroll, but instead to watch the Y property here. Uh, but the Y value of the scroll container doesn't change as you're scrolling. The only way the Y property would change is if I were to move the container itself. So I move it down here, you can see Y changes. But when the container itself is scrolling, it's the contents inside that are moving, not the container itself. So it's the scroll property that you want to keep track of, not the Y property. You can configure range one of four ways. You can watch for when the value of the property is greater than or equal to a value you specify here, or when the value is less than or equal, whatever you specify here, or when that property is between two values, or when that property is outside two values. We're gonna use this first one, and we want it to fire when the scroll position is whatever the value of the Stonehenge image is when it reaches up here. Now the scroll property is the number of pixels moved and it's a positive number. And when I preview this, it's essentially the Y position of the Stonehenge image there. So let's take a look at the Stonehenge image and its Y property is 750. It will have had to have moved 750 pixels to get to that point right there. So let's copy the 750 value and we will plug it right into here. So our range trigger is fired, but we have no responses. Let's add the send response. We're gonna send the message to the follow button component and we wanna send the show message. All right, now let's preview this. And when I scroll and I get to the top, boom, there we go. The follow message swings into view. Now, important thing to note here is it will only fire when it crosses that threshold. It won't continually fire. Even though the value of scroll is greater than or equal to 750 at this point, it's not gonna continually fire. It only fires when it crosses into that threshold. So uh, something you won't be able to see here, but if I scroll again, it will fire again, but because the follow button is already in its final position, you're not gonna see it animate. But I'm gonna demonstrate this. So let's add another range trigger. And once again, I want to watch the scroll property of the scroll container. And I'm gonna use the second one here, when it's less than or equal to zero, essentially when we've scrolled all the way to the top. And in this case, I want to send the hide message to the follow component. Now when I preview this, I'm gonna scroll, and you see the button swings in when I scroll to Stonehenge, and when I scroll all the way to the top, the button swings out. And now if I scroll again to Stonehenge, there again, it swings back in and it swings back out. So there you go, Raphael. This is how you would send a message based on the scroll position in your container. Easy as pie. If you're having problems in one of your pies and you'd like to ask us for help, please check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.